Hello everybody. Just a small tip about marriage. I recently heard from a speaker who actually conducts marriage conferences every year and uh, he shared something that was an eye-opener for me which sounded so simple but I've never heard of that so I wanted to share. I was blessed and I wanted to share it. Um, so he said the best marriage it happens when two servants are in love. The two people in a marriage who love each other are two servants. There's no pride. There's no place for pride. Each of them wanted to serve the other at all times. The servant nature. Two servants in love make the best marriage. The opposite is two people full of pride has the worst marriage. The other thing that he said was, instead of always thinking that the other person is at fault and the thought that maybe there is something in me that never crosses your mind and you always pointing fingers at the other person, instead ask God to teach you to be the spouse that you are called to be. Lord, teach me to be a wife. Teach me to be a mom. Teach me to be the sister. Teach me, Lord. No one teaches us how to be a parent, how to be a spouse, and how to be all the other roles that we have. But asking the Lord to teach us to be those different roles, it makes so much difference. That shows we depend on God. We are telling God that we don't know and that we are willing to learn because that will yield great and best results. After all, God is the best teacher. He's the one who instituted marriage. And so that was a very, very, very beautiful, precious uh, thought that I felt after hearing the preacher. So I wanted to pray, Lord, teach me to be a wife. Teach me to be the mom to the kids. And uh, so just wanted to pass that along. Two servants in love have the great and best marriage and asking the Lord to teach you to be the spouse, learning from God and then applying it. I'm not saying these are the only two, but these two, I have not heard from others, at least in these words, and they seemed effective to me. So I'm just blessed and I'm passing it on to you. God bless.